Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Dalton at Daltonian Gifts, and today we're taking a look at the first member of the Tripredicus Council and the first member of the Dawn of the Predicus box set, and that is going to be General C-Clamp, who is obviously a repaint, retool of Scattershot and the Silverbolt mold. Uh, more of the Scattershot version of the Silverbolt mold, but... Uh, I honestly think this works better for C Clamp. It just it's weird just like the character was. It's kind of got that it's a mix of like space and ocean type of feel. I mean with the thin wings, the weird cannon here and the little dome cockpit. Uh even down to the fact that this kind of looks like a mouth of a crustacean is just all weird and unappealing. But I, I, I do love the color scheme on this. Having it in hand, it looks so much better than the mock-ups. Get that off there. And the gun is molded in a dark kind of... I, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a gun metal gray. Not even that. It's just a dark gray. But uh, you got a lot of nice paint details picked out here with this very nice bright silver. All the way going down the side of the fus fuselage. Even up on these little bits here, little pinstripes here of the gray, little orange cockpit, some more of the, some of the stripes on the side. It just it's it's very well done, very well painted, even leaving this little piece of red here unpainted. I mean it looks great and some of these details are gonna be for the combined mode, but we'll get into that when we combine this set. Uh, transformation, you know, I'm not really going to go over it. if you want to see it. There's a card popping up right about now for the Silverbolt Mold Transformation or Cyclonus. I think I've got one of those two up. Yes, yeah, those Silverbolts. Never mind. So, yeah, that would have already popped up, but I'm just going to do it right now. And knowing me, I probably would have put it up twice just for the fun of it. I don't know. It all depends on how I feel when I'm editing all this together, so. Go. And the epic head reveal. If I can just get this out of here. This does lock in fairly tight. And there we go. The ugliest head, according to Pete of Fun Publications, that they have ever designed and created by the Four Horsemen, and it is just, it's spot on, it looks great. It, it's ugly, but it looks great. It's kind of redundant, and doesn't make any sense, but there's a lot of nicely molded detail with the paint there. Got the little yellow eyes, and it's even got some teeth molded in. Zoom out here a little bit. We go. A little bit of teeth molded in. You've got that Predacon symbol on his chest. Some silver going in through here with the gray plastic. It, it, it's very well done for C clamp. I know some people were complaining it doesn't have the weird little things here, but I'm fine with that. So, not a whole lot else to go on about C clamp. I mean, everything's pretty much the same articulation wise. I mean, not, nothing feels loose or overly tight just they they did a really great job I mean I'm happy with it uh, real quick before I completely forget altogether I'm standing we've got the file card which I'll go ahead and take out of the plastic it's hard to do without tearing this plastic wish they chose a different Style. Yep. There's the bio card. Very much like the other cards for the Commander Wars, except now you've got the bio on the side, so if you want to read that, you can go ahead. And there's his stats, so very, very high rank. And pretty good endurance, too, so. Yep, that's C Clamp for you guys. Um, let's go ahead and get them armed up. I'll probably just mount this on the side here. And 
Right there. There we go. So there we got C Clamp. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out the links in the description below along with the review for Silver Bowl if you want to see a more in depth review on the mold. Other than that, I'll see you guys all next time. We'll be taking a look at CicadaCon. So, see you then.